Well, my first contact with Aarhus University had been a Danish teacher that came as a guest lecturer to my previous university. And his classes were actually fun. So I thought, you know, that says a lot about Denmark. Um, I liked the degree. Um, I liked the offers that the campus had. And I also liked the prospect of staying in Denmark afterwards, living in a country where women are equal to men and where, you know, you know that you will have stability and safety. If I wanted to move to the best potential country, I thought probably Denmark was the one because it's Scandi without being cold northern Norway. And it's educated and healthcare and system service, everything works, safety, security. There's been lots of help since I got here. I would say even since before I got here, I received help from university and support in finding housing, explanations on what the paperwork that I have to do is, um, how to figure out my CPR number and set up my taxes, all of those not so fun things. I think one thing that surprised me was the freedom that we were given. So I was used to us having a little bit more homework I would say almost more babysitting, and here we didn't have that. I feel like here in Aarhus, we were told from day one what the curriculum was going to be, what the readings were going to be like, and you're just expected to do it. So at the beginning, I thought, woo, I don't have to do anything. And then I noticed, no, no, this is on my own shoulders, and I have to take responsibility. And it's this is where you choose to either step up or die of stress in exam period. They put this tag of hygge to anything that's basically unproductive but enjoyable. And they're like, oh, no, no, but we're doing hygge. It's like, okay, sure, let's hygge. Let's, let's go for a beer because it's hygge. Well, let's, let's watch a movie because it's hygge. We're staying home because it's hygge. Cookies, hygge. Uh, I think that's, that's a nice one as well. That's something I've absolutely adapted, taken for my own. Uh, the libraries here are amazing. <laughs> like the library, like the main library from the university so pretty and it has so many facilities. You have a really good canteen and tons of different types of study areas. You've got the quiet ones and the loud ones or medium ones. You can sit on a chair or you can sit on a bean bag or like a, one of those eggs that hang from the ceiling. There's so many options. There's a, a punching bag and a ping pong table. Every luxury you can think of that will help you study better. Mm, that was really impressive. Most of the universities kind of spread through Ohuse, so the center of the city. So you actually find buildings that you didn't even know that they were part of the university. And apparently the IT guys are studying here or something like that. So it's, it's really blended in with the rest of the city, I guess. Ohus has the luxury of being right next to sea, that having the forest inside of it. So all those, those luxuries of being a small city but at the same time, it has so many cultural events and so many opportunities, a lot of diversity, which gives it a bit more of a big city vibe in that aspect. So you get, I think, the perfect combination of both. Um, there's so many bars and there's so many young people. I always say that the city is bubbly because you just can tell that there's life 